I'm going to show you how to replace a knuckle assembly on your Toyota Camry. Let's get started. Using a 21 millimeter socket, remove the lug nuts. And remove the wheel. Using a 17 millimeter socket, remove the caliper bracket bolts. Hang the caliper so there's no pressure hanging on the brake hose. I'm going to use a hook and hang it off of the strut. Remove the rotor. Using a 30 millimeter axle nut socket, remove the axle nut. Push on the end of the axle shaft. Make sure it slides in freely. If it doesn't, take a punch and a hammer and hit in the middle of this little dot until it breaks free and you can move it. Using a pair of pliers, we're gonna remove the cotter pin from the outer tie rod. Our cotter pin is stuck inside, so I cut the ends off and flattened it with the nut. Now we'll use a 17 millimeter socket on an electric tool and we're going to pull the nut off and then we'll drill the hole out. Drill out the cotter pin. Using a hammer, we're going to hit this area to release the tension on the outer tie rod. Don't hit the stud, only right here. Also try to avoid hitting the boot so you don't rip it. Then pull the outer tie rod out of the knuckle. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna remove the bolt for the ABS sensor. Remove the bolt. Remove the ABS sensor. You may need to use a pair of pliers and get on the side and wiggle it and break the tension before it comes out. Remove the plastic ABS bracket. We're gonna pull the sensor over with it. We're gonna put this sensor somewhere safe where it's not gonna get twisted, banged. Using a 22 millimeter wrench and a 22 millimeter socket, we're gonna remove the two bolts. Remove the bolts. As you pull the knuckle forward, push the axle through the hub. I'm gonna pull my axle out and off to the side. Using a pair of pliers, we're gonna remove the cotter pin out of the ball joint. Our cotter pin's gonna be nice and stuck in there. So I'm gonna cut the ends off. I'm gonna pull the nut off with an impact gun. Using a 19 millimeter socket, we're gonna remove the ball joint nut. I'm going to thread the nut back on, just one or two threads. I'm going to 
going to twist the assembly to this side. Then we're going to release the tension off of the ball joint stud. Using a hammer, we're going to hit the side of here to release the pressure. Once the tension breaks free, remove the nut. Pull up on the knuckle assembly and remove it from the car. Since I was unable to remove my cotter pin and I had to slide the nut up over it, I'm going to drill out the old cotter pin material. If you have to drill out your cotter pin hole, be sure that while you're drilling this, when you go through, you don't hit the boot or drill a hole into it. We're going to install the new knuckle. We're going to put it on the ball joint first. Snug down the ball joint nut. Install the axle into the knuckle. Pull it through. Install the bolts through the knuckle and the strut. Get the nuts started on both of those bolts. Snug down the nuts. Install the tie rod end into the knuckle. Thread the nut on. Torque the nut to 36 foot pounds. And then up to an additional 60 degrees or until you can fit a cotter pin through the castle nut. Install the cotter pin and bend it around. I like to cut off the ends. Torque the ball joint nut to 91 foot-pounds. If you can't get a torque wrench on it, do the best you can. Up to an additional 60 degrees or until you can fit a cotter pin through the slot in the castle nut and the hole in the ball joint. Install the cotter pin. Bend it over. Torque the strut bolt nuts to 155 foot-pounds. Install the axle nut, snug it down. Using a pry bar to hold the studs, we're going to torque the axle nut to 217 foot-pounds. Using a hammer and a punch, we're going to stake the axle nut. Install the rotor. I'm going to use one lug nut to hold it square while I put the caliper on. We're going to grab our caliper. and install it onto the rotor. Install the caliper bracket bolts.
snug them down. Torque the bolts to 79 foot-pounds. Install the ABS sensor into the knuckle and get the bolt started. Snug the bolt down. Install the plastic bracket for the ABS wire. Install the wheel and get the lug nuts started. Snug down the lug nuts. And we'll torque the wheel on the ground. Torque the lug nuts in a star pattern to 76 foot pounds. Once you're done with this job, take your car to a local shop and have them do an alignment and you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.